um to be honest po oh uh, uh, maybe because i wasn't a front runner mm. so people didn't expect me to win and now that i have the crown um i'm sorry i'm being emotional Gola, it's uh, okay Thank they are questioning you know my my capability as a person as a candidate but i know that i did everything and anything that i could during that night and binigay ko talaga and yung mga nagsasabi na the question was given to me that's why i answered that way it wasn't given po sa akin i did everything that i could because i want to make iloilo city proud you um, of course, it was painful because there are things that you can settle by talking with each other. At the end of the day, this is a competition. And uh, being the bigger person in the picture, I need to understand where they're coming from. Miss Universe Philippines 2020 is... Ilo Ilo! All right, now we have Miss Iloilo City, Miss uh, Rabia Mateo. How are you? I'm doing great. I feel like I'm one step closer from having my first national crown. Well, you are actually. You are in the top 16. So let's see how it goes with this, um, this comment here. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. First of all, I need to stick to my core, which is being passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have that comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I want to... Uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heart of beauty. Thank you very much, Miss Ula Yudo City, Rabia Mateo. We are now down to our final two for our final five. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome here to the final five from Ilo Ilo City.
Rabia Mateo. Congratulations, and now it is time for us to find our final contender. Now let's call on Ilo Ilo. Rabia Mateo. Good evening. Good evening, Casey. How are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> for everybody. Okay. <laughs> So I will ask you two questions. You're okay. able to choose a number backstage. After you uh, talk for 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask another question where you receive another 30 seconds. Okay. Clear? Yes. All right, here we go. Your first question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Okay, it's time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Iloilo City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Well said, Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo. I am Rabia Mateo from Ilo Ilo City. I feel like I have a lot of things to offer. And despite the fact that I am considered the underdog, I've been working really, really hard to make Ilo Ilo City proud. Rabia Oksanya Mateo, Ilo Ilo City. I always look up to my mom because she's a single parent and she has been conquering a lot of struggles in life and she wants me to join beauty pageant because it's something that I am passionate about but I was scared to do so so she would always tell me that it's better to you know try and fail than have regrets in the end so I am here trying my luck and hoping to make her proud I've never been outside of the country, so I feel like when everything is back to normal, I want to travel to Thailand because I've been watching that boy love series and I want to experience their culture. I prefer sushi bake because I've tried some during the quarantine and I can't live without rice. <laughs> I try to cook, but I'm in that amateur level. But I feel like I brought um, a laboratory inside our kitchen, so I've been doing some experiments, some results in, you know, good food. But at the end of the day, it's all about taking the risk and trying to um, pursue something new. honest I've never played those games but based on my personality I like to watch thriller or murder mystery so I feel like I can relate with Among Us. I'm very 
very competitive. So I feel that I can have both worlds. But if I'm gonna choose for just one, it's gonna be the crown because that's my that's my. Rapia Oksanya Mateo, Ilu Ilu City. Our first contender from this match from Ilo Ilu City, Rapia Mateo. Miss uh, Rabia Mateo, how are you? I'm doing great. I feel like I'm one step closer from having my first national crown. Well, you are actually. You are in the top 16. So let's see how it goes with this, uh, this comment here. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. First of all, I need to stick to my core, which is being passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have the comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I want to... Uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heart. Thank you very much, Miss Yula City, Rabia Mateo. Next up, Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. are about to go through another beautiful transformation. Based on their average scores and their 30-second speeches, swimsuit and evening gown performances, the judges have now come up with the top five finalists. One of them will have the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity of being Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Ladies, are you ready? For the list of our top five, the envelope will be presented by Mr. Alan Ocho, partner of Sisip Gores and Valayo Company, our official tabulators. Thank you very much. Amazing job. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome here to the final five from... Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. Congratulations, and now it is time for us to find our final contender. And now let's call on Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo. Good evening. Good evening, Casey. How are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> for everybody. Okay, <laughs> so I will ask you two questions. You are okay. able to choose a number backstage. After you uh, talk for 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask another question where you receive another 30 seconds. Okay. Clear? 
Yes. All right, here we go. Your first question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Okay, it's time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Iloilo City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Well said, Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo. All right, now we call on our final. Only two remained. Let me remind you that in case the winner fails to fulfill her duties and obligations, the first runner-up will take over as Miss Universe Philippines. I will announce the name of the winner first. That means the other contender is our first runner-up. Ladies, take a deep breath. It is time for the moment of truth. Miss Universe Philippines 2020 is... for all of the support and participation in this year's pageant, Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Uh-uh. <laughs>